Yeah, Moto Z. I mean, you can look up a YouTube video on it. It might not be that difficult. It depends on how much you cared about that Minecraft world, I guess. You're interested in the hot tub stream. Well, you're biased. Oh, come on! You didn't die from that? Good. Amelia, if I if I made that goal 500 points higher, would you join me? You add the hot tub incentive right when I've committed to saving up for a house next year? Hey, people wanted people wanted it, Kyle. I told them I was going to do it for February. I don't know what to tell you, man. But save up for your house. It's more important than my stream. That's for damn sure. It was your first world to beat the dragon and wither. You got your elytra and shoulder boxes. Shulker boxes. You made a school project in the world. I mean, if it means that much to you, dude, look up some YouTube videos. See if there's a way you can salvage it. Maybe if you're in town. I mean, we, we can always schedule a date if we hit it. So we, we got a stretch goal then, guys. 1300 for me, and then we'll do 1800 to include Amelia. We'll get an inflatable pole, and it'll be me and her. Hot tub stream duets. But by the end of this month, no, no later. And then, and then we'll schedule a date. Did I tell you about the dope house we saw and fell in love with? You did not. The only person I know who fell in love with the house was Carlo Berg so far. But he ended up not getting that one. Moto Z, that's exciting, dude. I'm happy for you. Are you excited for that? That sounds like a lot of fun. They say not to love objects. Hi, Seagull Flies. Welcome in. What objects are you are you trying to love? Oh, you're talking about the house. Been writing. Uh, been, wait, been waiting since the ninth grade. Nice, dude. Well, hell yeah, man. Kick ass. Pshaw. Wikipedia, did you did you look into Loop Hero? Do you know anything about that game? I think you would like that too, if you haven't already gotten it. I think I told you about it last week. Ah! You looked at it a bit? It, there's no other game like it, Wikipedia. There might be some copycats now, but when it first came out, there was no other game like it. People people have dubbed it a loop-like. Hi, Skater Cakes. Welcome in. How are you doing today? It's like a roguelite, but also like a looping game, but also like an RPG. I love that game. What game is this? Oh, I was talking about Loop Hero. You play it for a couple of hours each day? It was within what we could irresponsibly afford right now. It has all but one of our wish list features. What, what's the one it doesn't have? My, for any house I'd be interested in buying, I want a basement of at least a thousand square feet. That way I can turn it into a studio. 
That would be that would be the only thing I look for. Had a detached single car garage. It also had Ethernet, which is wild. The garage had Ethernet? Nice. You could hook your car up to a dyno and share it online. The basement was the one it didn't have. Yeah, I would I would really want a basement, Kyle. That that would be my thing. I, I want a studio. I want to be able to have like a musical instrument, maybe like a pool table, my my streaming stuff, and have it soundproofed and, and detached from the rest of the house. That way you can walk through the rest of the house and it's nice and welcoming and, and you know, peaceful. And then you go downstairs, and that's where the party is. Have like a have like a, a den or like a living room with like a TV and stuff, obviously. Maybe like a little surround sound system or whatnot. But have the downstairs be like that's where you go down and like have a beer and shoot some pool and listen to whatever music you want to listen to. Downstairs in the den of sin. Well, there was a house that went on sale When I first moved down here, there was a house that went up for sale. It was it was perfect In fact, the basement Had a detached Had it had an independent entrance and exit so like I could have rented it out as its own unit and The day I the day before I put a bid in on it. It, it sold or it had an offer that they were accepting But it was on like four acres of land and it had a two car garage and it had the basement was was un, it was an unfinished basement but it was 1800 square feet and it was just that was I was just like I was like please give me this we love our basements in Ohio just saying okay there, there's basements here in North Carolina too I'm just renting an apartment, so I don't have access to like a basement. <laughs> Found a mansion on the sub server. Nice. Uh, there's a spreadsheet. Document the the coordinates, depict. There's a spreadsheet I gotta put in the pinned message for us to put in things like that. I guess you can go in and loot it if you want to. Just don't tear it down. Or you can save it and, you know, a group can go after it one day or something. There's going to be more mansions. It's not the only one that exists. D-Pig, did you see that in this world here, I have two within a thousand blocks of each other? I don't think you were here for that. You're in gold armor and iron weapons? Oops. I'm the I'm the one I'm in is about 1100 has a couple of rooms built. Oh yeah. There, there's a bunch of different basement configurations. Seagull. The only bad thing about that property out in the desert is that you'd have no rights to it. You're still on stone weapons and no armor. You did not see your mansion fortune. I think I might have it in screen caps. Hold on. Uh, Minecraft screenshots it was early on so here's the first one at 1678 minus 579 and then the second one was right here 1768 wait 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 that's the same one hold on hold on that's the same one stand by where's the other one at Hi, Sparkles. Welcome in. Uh, hold on. Did I take pictures of both of them? Let me do this real fast. Hold on. 1768 by 253. And there was one that had an X of like a thousand. Oh, no, that is the other one. This one's 1768, 253. And then this one is 1678 minus 579. So it's 800 blocks away. So yeah, we have we have two. This one is this one's at the very end of a dark forest, so it's actually in the birch forest. 
Isn't that crazy? It's like it's like barely on the edge. It spawned like in the last corner and popped up there in the birch forest. But yeah, I haven't went in there. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't like evokers. Someone was like, make a bunch of iron golems and have them go in. I'm like, yeah, maybe, but for right now, no. Yeah, Wikipedia, exactly. There's like, there's like no rights to the land. You, you pretty much just own it in name only. You can't really do much with it. It's like, it's like buying an NFT. <laughs> it's, it's literally Earth NFTs. Vindicators hit too, uh, too hard. Yeah. And those Vex from the, um, what are they called? I always forget what those guys are called. Vindicators are the guys with the axes. What are the guys that summon the Vexes and do, like, the, the ground attack? Evokers. That's what it is. Thank you, D-Pick. <laughs> it took me a second. I'm, I'm trying to mine and, and decipher messages and have conversations, and my brain's like, think faster. <laughs> Magic men? They are magic. Sparkles, I hope you're having a good day today. Did you, did you figure out your issue in the Minecraft server? Also, your mob spawner is not going to work. It's not in hard difficulty. So you're not going to have a reliable way to do anything like that. We might have to do villager trades for XP. Because mob farms, especially in normal, are not going to be very good at all. They're so angry. Uh, if it's not in hard, how did a creepy kill me in full enchanted diamond armor? How did a creepy kill you in full enchanted diamond armor? Uh, because was it enchanted? What, what, what was it enchanted with? Just prot four? It, it can kill you through prot four. It depends on where the explosion was. Creepers are weird. It depends on where the explosion hit you at. If it hit you in the feet or in the head, it probably is going to kill you instantly. If it hit you in the chest or in the legs, you have a better chance of surviving it. And if you have Prot 4, Prot 4 really doesn't protect you from the explosion. you got to have blast protection. Which is why most people put blast protection in the boots... Because most explosions will hit you in the feet. Blast protection chest? Well, if it didn't hit you in the chest, it's not going to help. Or at least it won't help 100%. It'll, it'll take a little bit of the blow, but not all of it. But yeah, it's not in hard difficulty. I think it's in normal. Yeah, specific armor slots do matter for things like that. Like there's an overall buff you can get and then and then there's like individual strengths and stuff. Also, there's a limit to how much you can have. Like you can't all all, all prot 4 isn't good because only 3 pieces are going to count towards it. Of just regular prot 4. Which is why people usually put black protection in the feet. But then if you're not running 
if you're not running a chest piece, you're running the elytra, then you only have prot four on one piece of gear. And that's your pants. Unless you get the headpiece going too. Alright, do we have magma blocks being looted? We do. Okay. I want to keep these magma blocks. I might have to do a third one. We want these magma blocks. We need them for the gold farm. Whichever one we go with, we still have to have them. Alright, we're probably going to lose some of those to the bottom. Excuse me, guys. How's this? That one's looking pretty good. Hi, Chris. Welcome in, buddy. How are you doing today? Happy Thursday. Uh, I think this is fine here. How about me? I'm hanging in there. I'm making the best of my day. Yeah, I lost those. It's okay. It's okay. Give me some amount of magma blocks that get lost. As much as I would like to save all 100% of them, it's probably impossible. Ah! It's not Thursday, it's Sunday. Oh, is it Sunday? <laughs> My brain is fried. <laughs> Happy Sunday! Wow, why did I think today was Thursday? Chat, anyone? Line? I got into early uh, and are set in my ways. I don't even use a shield because it's a newer thing. The point being, this kind of mob farm is all I know. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if it's not going to work, you don't need it. So you can take it down. And bro man... An entropy set up a villager trade farm area. We're gonna have to get some iron farms going and stuff. That way we can maximize the emerald gain from that. Feels like a Thursday because you have tomorrow off. I don't know where in my mind Thursday came from. That was so weird. I think I said that more than once too. I'm glad you caught me. Because I wouldn't have known otherwise. Brain no working. Kind of want to bring those villagers to spawn so people can trade with them whenever. Why are they not at spawn? Where are they at? In the village? I think if we build a way for people to get to them entropy, it shouldn't be that much of a thing. Unless you've got it on your plot, you gotta give people protection, and, or not protection, permission and stuff. Oh, it's on your own plot? Yeah. Um, maybe we should build like a minecart train. That's one thing I wanna have, is, is kinda like a monorail type setup. With a minecart that goes around like the whole world, that way people can just ride it if they want to. I'm gonna AFK the monorail, and they can just they can just ride and check out all the builds and stuff. And it would have like stops and whatnot. People can hop off if they want to. It's made a deep slate. I really don't want to tear it down with iron tools. Oh, okay. Well, in the future, where did you build it at? 
Sparkles? Did you build it at spawn or did you build it where you're at? Just need a building for them. Also, I haven't zombified them yet. Oh, I'm not worried about that. That we can set up. Is it the one with the copper ring? It's 100 blocks over my base with an AFK point and another 64 blocks over it. Is it something that the whole community can access or only you? Everyone can access it? Okay. Because that's, that's what we got to do when it comes to farms. We're, I was trying to get all the, keep all the farms together in one area that weren't specialized. As long as people can get to it, I guess it's okay. It's just not going to work very well because it's normal difficulty and stuff. If anyone needs, I have books for tools. You're going to use that to mend things then? I wanted to build my house in a specific XYZ coordinate and come come to my surprise the X and Z is out in the middle of the freaking ocean so we have to manufacture an island so that's what me and Amelia were doing the other night we're manufacturing an island we're having to ship dirt over you're an idiot! Ha 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 ha! Your house is very amethyst. Warner, is that your first time in the server? You did? Did you spawn in front of the book and stuff? Did all that work out really well? The new the new player path at least? I don't have anything else built. Oh, you were on first okay, first day, never mind then. Never mind. You got stuck in Viscus's house? Uh oh. What happened? You did just go by spawn again? Yeah, we gotta make it better. I'll probably work on that some more tonight. I got the most important part. That's the basic rules and equipment for new players. That's the part I was worried about, but now I want it to look nice. Uh, let's do that. Also, we're full on that. Make sure we're grabbing those. Just so that anyone's aware who's in the, the sub-server, the spawn is spawn-proof. If you ever need somewhere to just kind of hang out and be AFK at, or, or if you're new to the game and don't want to go very far, the entire, wherever all the stone slabs are, nothing can spawn on it. So you're safe there. Stuff can run on to it, though. So if you're on the edge, they'll come after you. But if you're, like, in the middle, nothing should be around. Did I light up the new player area? I did. So all that should be lit up too where nothing can spawn. So yeah, you should have a nice safe little area there. The path. Well, no, the path is is cut. So the cut path, nothing spawns on that either. Because it's not a, a flush block. Just short.
Oh man. Cool song in the background. Thank you, buddy. Hi, who cares? Good morning. How you doing, Leighton? Welcome in, bud. I hope you're well. Again? What do you mean? Made it to the end of the weekend? You got your wings. Nice. Congrats, dude. Now you got to enchant them before you break them. You got to put mending and, and unbreaking on those. So, so on a scale of 1 to 10, who cares wins for difficulty? How difficult was the dragon? 10 being insane, 1 being like babies. Uh, the rockets? I mean, it's whatever you want to do. I do 3 because I like flying long distances, so it's more efficient. But if you want fine-tuning, some people would go with 1. I think 2 is just a waste overall. But it also depends on how much gunpowder you have. If you don't have a lot of gunpowder, stick with ones. That way you get more rockets for your crafting. <laughs> whiz. Yeah, but you're whiz, though. <laughs> You watched you fight the dragon, so you knew uh, what you had to do. Okay. The only the only real issue is is the Enderman. The dragon itself is easy. It's the Enderman that suck. Cause once you look at one of them and they get mad at you and they all aggro to you, it's you got to know how to kill them. You forgot food. All right. Well, guess who's not ready for a hardcore run. <laughs> That's like the thing you have to have is food. At all times. Because you can actually die of, of starvation in, in hardcore. Your hunger goes past the two little foods that they stay at at normal. Full of magma blocks again. What? Man, we're getting a ton. 